Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today we are going to discuss about how to generate a uh, HTML table uh, with the loaded of uh, database items dynamically by using when we change uh, both the drop down list values. So here we have a first class and just section just select A. Then you can say that here we have a name and the remove section. So that uh, that name both names are retrieved from the database table so that is the dynamically generated table and uh, that is on by using the jquery so uh, first when we click on that any links like that first and b so it's nothing only only for the rohit is there okay so how to do this uh, in asp.net core with the jquery so uh, you can do you know, by using index section method first of all index section method get all the items of the classes and all the items of the sections so both drop down lists are visible like the first and the sections that is the class name and the section class name so that written on the view back so in the index.css html you, you can see that here we have a select list for the class and the here we have the select list for the section now when we change anything so uh, that jquery will be reflected on if we change anything so, so class select or select uh, section select on change function generated so get the value of this uh, uh, select class item by using the id property class select and that is the section select so you can use class select and section select values uh, getting on the selected class and selected section and that value will be passed to the jquery method that is the cat and the first one is the url okay uh, so first one is the url and here we have a query string values like that and the second one is the function that value will be received as a response if value is a successful response so here we have the value so that call api slash students so that uh, routing url is like that so get students by using the class id and the section id so context of student data where class id and and the section id like that so get the student by using the students class so in the form of written json student is there so student is visible and uploaded is here data and after that populate a student table so the student table and the student data is going on the students so table body is like that student table and t body so here we have a table student table and t body is like that so uh, create a new table row in the t body first of all t body is clear now after that with the each student data uh, index and student each one of the record create a new row table row row dot append td uh, inside it item dot text that is student dot name row dot append t, uh, uh, td dot html content that is button dot class remove btn data id is this student dot id and remove and after that when we click on this button so this object will be reflected when we remove button that is the data class that is remove button dot click so this dot data this dot data that is the data so data dot uh, colon id uh, just i want to pass it here so student id is, is the uh, in the id format so here we have a student id so uh, that is the student id so this dot i mean to say that when we click on the remove button this dot closest tr dot will be removed okay so here we have a student id that is removed okay so that is the function in the javascript function and that is the table will be loaded so each of items will be uh, in the uh, appear here and with the remove button okay so table body dot append like that so here we have a table body dot append all the rows so one by one, one is row is created according to the student's data. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and jQuery.